appears to be still coming in. It's kind of an angry little sea. Or at least it's incoming. From here you head all the way to Duxbury. It's a long hike, <laughs> a couple hundred miles. This particular place was shut down in March after a storm toppled a few more of these ridiculous houses that insist on sitting up windows. Each winter kills a couple more of them. That's the little kiosk that indicates the Bay Circuit beginning, but as you can see, there's not much mention of it. Newberry is a funny place. This little parking lot was completely off limits after the March storm with threats of arrest. And here, the first thing you run into by way of greeting is a summary of all the shit they'll find you for. Motor vehicles on the beach, yup, got it. Littering, yup. Fishing or surfing in designated areas. Fires. Basically, they put a lot of thought into making it suck as much as possible. <laughs> But this is where the Bay Circuit begins. I can't say <laughs> this way to anything. This is it, the terminal. However, this way will get us to Duxbury after a couple hundred miles. So what I'll do given my already <laughs> striking lack of enthusiasm do the uptight greetings left by a town that clearly gets a lot of its livelihood out of soaking idiot tourists who must come here to the beach and yet it feels the need to pummel them with all sorts of anxious requirements Now up here is where a bunch of stupid expensive homes fell into the drink in that terrifying March storm of last year. They insist on crowding the beach. I don't see any Bay Circuit Blaze stuff around here. <laughs> You're gonna love the cute little ridiculous barrier. <coughs> and all the kind of tchotchke structures one might associate with proximity to the ocean. Beach coma. Evidently, you're supposed to get really drunk. And there's the beach parking hustle. It's 
still not much sign of any Bay Circuit trail markings. Plenty of parking for the beach coma though. <laughs> In the old familiar ritual, that way to Newberry, this way to Duxbury. <laughs> Mr. Mo wants you to know he's got the coldest beer on Plum Island. And then we have the Martin House. Some kind of annual meeting. Friends of Plum Island Light. I'm surprised they didn't spell it L I T E. <coughs> Piles of traffic, seemingly going nowhere. Rent this hall. <coughs> we have the somewhat charming desolation that visits a town that depends on tourists once they go away. There it is, our first Bay Circuit Confidence Blaze. We came from that direction, which goes to Plum Island. And this here overlooks vast sections of the Great Marsh where one notices egrets off in the distance. And this little road will take you down to the Parker River Wildlife Refuge. And there's quite a lot of flapping going on over there. This is mostly a straight shot along the old paved Plum Island Turnpike. It veers into actual trail stuff over by Java Flats, which I'll stop and visit later. Had company. Bored gulls. This is kind of a bikeway. The gorgeous expansion, expansiveness of the great marsh is worth the effort. off in the distance. You might see. Oh, there they are. Windmills. Deploy. We're 
coming up on the quaint little drawbridge. Splash of red over there is a brackish tolerant plant called Salicornia. I ran into it last year. Uh oh, ambulances. regular convoy of the suckers. So yeah, this is a potential boat spot to explore.